and thanks for joining me, today. My name is Troylin Smalls. I'm the owner and creator of CashFlowologist.com, a blog based on information on how to uh, create cash flow using online techniques. Now, in today's segment, I just want to go over uh, what a blockchain is and how a blockchain works. Um, a blockchain is a distributed database that is shared among the nodes of a computer network. As a database, a blockchain stores information electronically um, in, well, in a digital format. Blockchains are best known for their crucial role in cryptocurrency systems such as Bitcoin for maintaining the secure and decentralized record of transactions. The innovation with the blockchain is that it guarantees the fidelity and security of a record of data and generates trust without the need of a trusted third party such as banks or if we're doing any type of transactions like that. Now, one key difference between a typical database and a blockchain is how the database is structured. Uh, a blockchain collects information together in groups known as blocks that, uh, that hold sets of information. Blocks uh, have certain storage capacities and when filled are closed and linked uh, to the previously filled block forming a chain of data known as blockchain. All new information that follows that freshly added block is compiled into a newly formed block um, that would then be also be added to the chain uh, once filled. Now, uh, a database usually structures its data into tables, whereas a blockchain, like its name, implies structures and data into chunk blocks that are strung together. Uh, this data structure inherently makes an irreversible timeline of data when implemented in a decentralized nature. When a block is filled, it is set in stone and becomes a part of this timeline. Each block in the chain is given an exact timestamp when it is added to the chain, which is what makes this so unique. So let's, take, let's talk about the key takeaways of what is blockchain. Blockchain is a type of shared database that differs from a typical database in the way that it stores information. Blockchain store data in blocks that are uh, then linked together via cryptography. As a database comes in, it is entered into a fresh block. Once a block is filled with data, it is chained onto the previous block which makes the data chain together in chronological order. Uh, different types of information can be stored on the blockchain, but the most common use so far has been as a ledger for transactions. In Bitcoin's case, blockchain is used in, in decentralized ways so that no single person or group has control, rather all users collectively retain control. So decentralized blockchains are immutable, which means that the data is entered it is irreversible. For Bitcoin, this means that the transactions are permanently recorded and viewable to anyone, all right? So that right there uh, explains what a blockchain is. Now, so how does the blockchain work? The goal of a blockchain is to allow digital information to be recorded and distributed, but not edited. In this way, a blockchain is the foundation for immutable ledgers or records of debt transactions that cannot be altered, deleted, or destroyed. This is why blockchains are also known as a distributed ledger technology, or DLT. Okay. Uh, first proposed as a research project in 1991, the blockchain concept uh, predated its first uh, widespread application of use. Bitcoin in 2009. In the uh, year since, the blockchain has exploded via creation of various cryptocurrencies, decentralized finance applications, uh, non-fungible tokens, and smart contracts. Now let's talk about uh, blockchain uh, decentralization, which is an important thing. And, uh, imagine that a company owns a server firm with 10,000 computers used to maintain a database uh, holding all of its clients' account information. This company owns a warehouse building that continues, or rather that contains all, all these computers under one roof and has full control of each of these computers and all of the information contained within them. This, however, provides a single point of failure. What happens if the electricity at that location goes out? Uh, what if 
What if the internet the connection is uh, severed? Uh, what if it burns to the ground? What if a bad actor erases everything with a single keystroke? In any case, the data is lost or corrupted. Um, what a blockchain does is it allows the data held in that database to be spread out among several network nodes at various locations. This not only creates redundancy, but also maintains the fidelity of the data stored therein. If somebody tries to alter a record at one instance of the database, the other nodes would, uh, would not be altered and thus would prevent a bad actor from doing so. If one user uh, tampers with Bitcoin's record of transaction, all other nodes will cross-reference each other and easily pinpoint the node with the incorrect information. This system helps to establish an exact transparent order of events. This way, no single node within the network can be uh, can alter information held within it. Because of this, the information and history, such as transactions of, of a cryptocurrency, are irreversible, such as a uh, record could be a list of transactions, such as with the cryptocurrency. But it is also po is possible for a blockchain to hold a variety of other information, like legal contracts, state identifications, or a company's product inventory, right? The key important thing here is to validate new entries or records to a block. Uh, a majority of the decentralized networks computing power would need to agree to it. To prevent bad actors from validating bad transactions or double spins, blockchains are secure, secured by a consensus mechanism such as proof of work or proof of stake. These mechanisms allow for agreement even when no single node is in charge. Now, let's go into the transparency of uh, blockchain technology. Because of the centralized nature of Bitcoin's blockchain, all transactions can be transparently viewed by either having a personal node or using blockchain explorers that allow anyone to see transactions uh, occurring live. Each node has its own copy of that chain that gets updated as, freshly, uh, as fresh blocks are confirmed and added. This means that if you wanted to, you could track Bitcoin wherever it goes. For example, exchanges have been hacked in the past where those who kept Bitcoin on the exchange lost everything. While the hacker may be entirely anonymous, the Bitcoins they have that they've extracted are easily traceable. If the Bitcoin stolen and some of these hacks were uh, to be moved or spent somewhere, it would be known. Of course, the record stored in the Bitcoin Blockchain, Bitcoin blockchain, as well as most others, are encrypted. This means that only the owner of record can be encrypted to reveal their identity using a public private key pair. As a result, users of blockchains can remain anonymous while preserving transparency. And that concludes my information today about blockchain technology, how it works. Hope you guys have. Uh, got a better understanding of, of this technology and I encourage you to follow up and get more information about blockchain technology and how it works. If you become a part of uh, Hyperverse, that is the main core of our academy. We train you and show you exactly what the coins are, what they represent and um, their use cases. And that right there would uh, allow you to make better informed decisions if you're uh, trading tokens or coins or NFTs for, for profit. You want to know uh, exactly how these technologies work before you step into this arena. So uh, again, I want to thank you guys for joining in with me today. I appreciate it if you like, share, comment, and uh, also subscribe so that you can and hit the bell so that you can get more content like this as we uh, further into this new technology. And for the next time I see you guys, thanks and have a good day.